Hey guys, it's Jmouse here. Hope you're having a great day thus far. I cannot believe the stuff that is in the news today, man. It's just always something going. You just can't stop it. It's like a snowball effect that happens in Apex. There's drama everywhere. The fans and the devs getting in constant arguments. This one actually, thankfully, led into somewhat of better news that there may be new anti-cheat stuff coming very soon for Apex to battle all the cheaters that have been going on. Yeah, man, big pro players getting into heated discussions with some Apex Legends developers, all of that, and so much more in today's video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel comment down below the very last finalist is down in the comment section below and we're picking five more people in the stream tonight we're doing a 1v1 private lobbies basically like a solos mode battle royale and basically the winner of each of the five games will be put on the wheel as well after that's over we're spinning the wheel and picking a name so if you want to get notified for the stream tonight make sure to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on and without further ado let's jump right into the video and honestly first off i just want to say i love making these videos these things are so much fun to make every single morning all of us just gather together and watch the drama that's unfolding so first off there's a couple things i wanted to mention that iloot games put out number one is that there's either a new glitch or a hack i'm not exactly sure which one it is where you can use unlimited amounts of tacticals so this is exactly what is going on right now you guys can see this is in a ranked mode i mean this guy's using unlimited amounts of gibby bubbles just walking around everywhere popping gibby bubbles like there's no tomorrow i mean how do you not win every single game when you have this type of advantage going on right now and honestly especially in ranked this is going to make for some big rp games for him himself it's not just the unlimited tactical abilities that are driving people wild apparently there's a lot of hacks going on in the new game mode that people are using and a lot of cheaters are actually having a great time over there and in fact from what i heard from my games you can do all kind of crazy stuff all because respawn dropped the ball once again you're not going to believe what i'm about to tell you i mean get ready for this seriously apex anti-cheat is disabled on the new limited time mode not just saying hey there's a bunch of hacks going on maybe you know they forgot to do this or maybe the anti-cheat's not working no legit like he found out like legitimately 100 fact the anti-cheat is literally disabled like not theoretically not probably not seems like it is actually disabled in the new mode so followed it up saying i'm sure that'll lead to no issues at all and obviously you know no issues going on we're currently not in a apex hacker crisis whatsoever so yeah it just really sucks to be a part of a game that you love so much and a game that you really love the core gameplay you love the fundamentals you love the way the game works you just have to deal with such a very poorly ran system i say this all the time i know respawn has some type of a reason out there for why they have it disabled but i always preach this when there's an obvious problem there needs to be a solution once again ignore my five-month-old daughter screaming in the background i can hear her picking up on the mic like i'm sure they have somewhat of a reason as to why they want to keep it disabled that might make a little bit of sense but when you have issues that continuously arise you need to say okay well obviously what we're doing is not 100 effective we might need to make some changes here it happens all the time in the real world it happens all the time in politics people are unwilling to change any type of opinion that they have because they're just so convinced that their plan is a foolproof plan with no holes in it whatsoever if you guys remember a while back one of the respawn developers actually compared apex to a coffee shop and basically was complaining that all the customers seem to complain about the coffee shop owners when people keep breaking in rather than the people that are breaking in and obviously after many 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 times you would think the coffee shop owners would say hey we need to up our security so yes we are blaming the coffee shop owners for not fixing the security i mean if i decided to disable our alarm system and notice that we kept getting broken into i mean i'm not just gonna say hey well we need to keep it disabled no there's an obvious problem so we obviously need to change something so speaking of anti cheat because that seems to be the conversation of the day it looks like there are some big outbreaks going on in the apex drama world with apex pros and the apex legends banhammer himself hideout so let's talk about this so his watson actually made this tweet to begin with and says dear apex cheaters if you play from 1 to 7 a.m eastern on north american servers your chances of getting banned are way lower because the ban team isn't awake just make this public knowledge so hopefully ea will do something about it jake lucky actually made a retweet of it and says cheating in apex legends is so bad that you got pro players informing cheaters what times are the best to cheat in order to get a response from respawn and ea next level iq watson play so basically watson is basically saying hey look we need to make the cheating situation even worse so that respawn and ea are forced to do something and honestly i don't think it's a terrible idea you got to think about this it's been three years there's no answers there's no fixes there's probably never will be any fix and he's at his wits end he's at his absolute lowest point of hope and he feels like something needs to be done so it's like this last straw it's like his last signal flare that he has to maybe get some type of attention here and honestly to be fair it's kind of working he did get the attention of respawn here matter of fact hideout made a respond here and said this is real cringe his watson begins to respond here and says yes it is really cringe that i have to get pre-fired and aimbotted for the first three hours of every one of my streams until you guys decide 
to roll out of bed nicewick also said all these tweets do is direct hate towards hideouts don't know how you can't see that his watson responded to nicewick here and said hideouts is going to get a lot of hate no matter what he's the only mascot of a dog system so when it continues to be dog he's going to get a lot of hate even if he has nothing to do with how it all works nicewick responded said so hideouts is going to get hate equals who cares if i send more and then watson responded to that saying yeah pretty much when he's seen as the band guy and the band system is terrible whether it's his fault or not there's literally no way to publicize criticize the system without him receiving receiving a lot of criticism or hate noko also responds and basically says the cheating is bad the hackers are really bad and they've never been dealt with it does really suck it is super unfortunate but hideouts getting all this hate and mean messages is really you know not worth it it's not it blah 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 and like i said i totally get that i mean hideouts definitely does not deserve the hate that he gets he doesn't deserve any hate it's not really all his fault matter of fact it's probably mostly none of his fault you can't expect one guy maybe even five guys 10 buddies or however many helpers they got for him to be able to handle all of this but it also sparked a conversation that it's also not fair that his watson's not allowed to say anything because it always gets deflected as you know oh well, don't send hideouts any hate we don't want him to have any hate we don't want him to do any of that that's fair we don't want him to have hate but it's also his fault and respawn's fault for allowing him to become a public figure this guy should never be a public figure he's a band hammer for apex he's supposed to be secretive he's supposed to be quiet much as we love to see the tweets of all the people that he's banned you don't see batman getting on all the news stations talking about all the people that he saved last week superheroes work in the dark they don't really like to receive a lot of public recognition most of the time they deflect it and try to blow it off as you know no i love the people you know don't give it to me don't pray me and as much as i love hideouts and love what he's done and the work that he puts in he also kind of uses it a lot of times to gain the recognition and friendship of a lot of big streamers he publicly hangs out with them posts all kind of stuff with them makes buddy buddy friends with them that's just not the role of a band hammer for apex so that's two sides of the story so the argument has basically come now is it unfair that his watson's not allowed to share any type of opinion or any type of desperation because of the fault of respawn and hideouts of making themselves public figures and they're the reason that they're getting the hate or is it unfair that hideouts is getting all of the hate because his watson won't keep his mouth shut so really it just comes down to how you see it the perspective that you have on it i totally understand both sides the problem is the situation that we got ourselves was really no win-win one side or the other is going to have to suffer you can also argue the fact that mental health and real life hate is more important to worry about than you know hackers in a video game we can also argue the fact that this hacker stuff in a video game is not necessarily just to be easily blown off because it's a lot of people's jobs so it's always usually more complex than what it is on the surface so i'm really interested to hear your opinions on it down in the comment section below and also though it did bring us to a new conversation because hideouts also responded here and basically said that they do have something new in the works for nig he responded here and says no what's really cringe is you assuming there isn't anything in the works to improve the nig so apparently there's something in the works to improve the nig hopefully it's actually effective i'm not really sure he says then saying until you guys decide to roll out of bed childish comment and very unnecessary why would we announce what we are working on to implement so that cheaters can be aware obviously i agree we don't want to inform the cheaters of what's going on but i also think that you will just simply never catch up to the cheaters i, I always just personally believe this is just me totally off the record i don't think that the anti-cheat will ever catch up with the days of cheating i just feel like we're light years ahead in the cheating world than we are in the anti-cheat world pvp also gave his opinion on the matter and he said this he said hot topic here cheaters have been thriving in apex especially during the off hours other servers have become so unplayable that it forces other regions to play on high ping migrating to north american servers because they simply do not get banned in a timely manner years of complaints and it's not handled so it's basically saying hey this is our last straw this is our last hope that's why we've made this decision that's why he's saying this because it's just all this false promises false hope and never really any delivery there's a lot of really good people at respawn people that work over there that are really nice people people that i've spoken to privately and honestly just a bunch of great people over there but the problem is is you gotta be honest i mean respawn has always said we got stuff coming we got stuff coming we're working on it we're working on it. it's been three years of that there's really never any improvements or to be fair a lot of times there are slight improvements but but then like six months later we're back in the same boat so very interested to hear your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new as always and if you've already done so thank you very much indeed for doing that the last finalist like i said is in the comment section below picking five more people in the stream tonight if you can win a private lobby solos match battle royale tournament kind of style thing but not really a tournament but you get the idea so make sure to subscribe to the channel with that notification bell on so you guys see when i go live i'll see you in the next one have a great rest of your day it's robert i only positivity until the next time i'll see you later gators